they were going to be tying a Borchers Drake uh, in a size 14, which is a great early season fly. Uh, this can be used to imitate several different hatches uh, from your Hend Hendrickson's all the way through your Mahogany's, um, as well as into your Bat Flies or Bay Tiscaday, which comes off uh, right before the hex. Uh, great fly, very versatile, um, just a standard template. You can tweak several different materials to get uh, different images to replicate different bugs. But we're going to start off with a size 14 standard dry fly hook and some uh, brown thread ADOT. Take your thread right back to the barb of the hook. And we're going to use some moose mane for the tail. About five or six fibers will do. You want to tie these in about the length of the hook shank. What I like to do with my tail is to get the material to flare is after I tie it in, take one wrap beneath and behind the material. And to keep the consistency of the body, we're going to tie in the rest of the material up to about where we'll start our wing. The body of this fly is going to be a turkey tail segment. Uh, if you're good at dyeing, you can dye these in various colors to imitate different bugs. Uh, but in this case, we're just going to use a standard turkey tail feather. You have a rotary vise, this step is a lot easier, but just want to give it a little twist to get it started. And as you wrap forward, just continue to give it a little half twist. For the wing, I chose to use high vis or white pair post. Uh, you can also use deer hair. For the ease of time, we're just going to use a synthetic. What we want to do is get this wing to stand up. We're going to post it. So we're going to take a few wraps in behind and then around the base. This will help to make your wing stand up. One thing I like to do with a lot of my parachutes when I use a synthetic is add just a hint of flash. So I'm going to put a few strands of crystal flash in the front of this wing. Give it a little accent. What you'll want to try and do is keep the fibers near the front of the wing and just give it a couple of wraps to post it up. Now we're going to add our hackles. We're going to use one brown and one grizzly. Check the gauge of your hackle. Simply place the hackle against the back of the wing and give it a half turn. 
With a parachute, you want to go a little bit bigger than a standard gauge, so you want the tips of your hackle to extend at least to about the base of the tail. Place the two feathers on top of one another, roughly size them up, and then we're going to strip some of the barbules off, and then tie them in right behind the wing. Before we turn our hackle, we're going to add just a little bit of brown dubbing or any other color of your desire to just simply fill these gaps and give the fly a smooth look. Now we're ready to turn our hackle. You want to grab both feathers. I don't like to use hackle pliers for this step because it allows the feathers to separate. So I'll use my fingers. Just make sure that my crystal flash is the leading edge of the wing. And I'm going to turn this hackle up and around. Get it to start. I'm trying to keep that brown feather on top. And once we get it to the top of the post, we're going to wind down, giving it at least four to six turns. And then tie it off. Grab our whip finish tool. Be careful not to allow your thread to come off the eye of the hook. Pull the barbs back. When you're done, grab your wing post under tension and gently brush your hackle fibers even. Trim off the butts. Now for the wing, we're going to do a little trimming, so I'm going to go just a little bit longer than what the actual wing will end up being. Snip it flush, and we're going to come in from the front, an angled cut, in from the back with a sharper cut. Fluff it out, trim any excess fibers, and this will give you a real nice realistic profile on the water. And there you go, standard Borcher's Drake.